Unlocked Plague of Shadows, play a new adventure starring the alchemical mastermind Plague Knight. Create a new profile to begin. Unlock Challenge Mode, sharpen thy shovel with new Shovel Knight challenges. Select Challenge Mode to begin. Into the Challenge Mode or to the start game. Challenge start, let's go to start. Hello everybody, I ah, actually no wait, 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 before I properly introduce myself. Ah, there we go, much better. I don't know why the game does that, but I guess I have to make a save file. But yes, hello everybody, I am Opaque Flick and welcome to my let's play on Shovel Knight Plague of Shadows as, well, Plague Knight. Holy shit. So, um, I did, I don't know if I did a Twitter post or even mentioned in my let's play, but this is the only game I bothered to ever platinum since my youthful days of, well here's a file that I use a platinum and here's my, uh, actually I don't have the speedrun file here anymore. Or is that on my Vita? I don't know. But yeah, uh. Let's just dive right into it, and we got some nice character selection screen. Eventually, it was gonna be King Knight and Spec Knight. I don't know if there was another knight involved. Forgot. But off to Plague Knight. And since, hmm, might as well call you Flake. Ah, yes, all these formalities. I wonder what the story is gonna be about. So this is just released within this week. I would say this is day one, but it's not. Alright. That's kinda neat. I guess looks uh oh, I'm using my touchpad screen. I'm like, oh I'm not gonna show the mouse cursor like on the Vita TV. I didn't feel like recording this on the Vita TV because as much as I want to because of the touchpad monster cursor screen. Nah. Anyways, uh if you want to see my old Let's Play I'll show tonight, it's on my YouTube channel. Or you can just start with this one. Anyways, with that said and done, let's start this. But villainy only rampant, and in time, even the most stalwart heroes fell. In the absence of champions, the enchantress and her order of no quarter swept into power. Unbeknownst to everyone, the maniacal alchemist Plague Knight had plans of his own. He sought nothing less than to concoct a potion of unlimited power. A trap so fiendish and potent that nothing he desired would be out of his reach. Each night unknowingly guards a crucial ingredient. Now, the collection must begin. Uh-oh, the buzz is on his way. You gotta get back to the lab, fast! I don't want to get experimented on. Just hold square to charge and bomb burst out of here. Come on, hurry up! I guess I'm ready. Ah, all right. I wonder if I, I was ho I was wondering whether they're gonna say like, uh, steal thy shell or whatever. I guess not. So, the game already gave me a little tutorial because I can only double jump, and I'm stuck in the game already. Oh my god! No, they just gave me a charge attack. That's kind of cool. So, play me. I, I have never really played this is straight up blind. Oh yeah, by the way, this game is gonna be a blind just like it did with Shovel Knight. Alright, so these are coins. I'm gonna call them play coins. Probably gonna have a name, a name later on. But a regular dumb jump and a plague bomb jump, whatever. Oh my god, I feel like I'm the plague knight boss. Let me do this real quick. I gotta do this. Oh uh, yes, just like he did in his boss fight. That was just so much fun. And it's free! It's all free! Alright. I'm getting used to him. Not that bad. So it's a, it kind of has like a night, a neat jump mechanic. I can really imagine this being um, abused within the stages, and I kind of, I kind of like how they did the story. And he already has an instant gem. 
uh, dig attack, I guess. Kind of, it was one of Shovel Knight's uh, upgrades where he can um, dig up a whole patch of dirt with one swing. The question is, now he doesn't have the stab, like uh, the jumping down stab that Shovel Knight did. Of course, he's a different, to he's a totally different character. I should expect that, but still. No Chester, I assume. All right. Health tonic. A full bag of health tonics to upgrade your max health. Just open the menu with them and drink them down. I don't know what to call it. Touchpad? Is that was that what the button's called? Touchpad? All right, hold on. I need to fall down first. Okay, I can control the momentum, but if I hold forward for even the slightest, it'll. Okay, so if I don't want to hold forward or back. Okay, just want to make sure because. Could be tricky uh, eventually. All right. What I want to know is, I'm pretty sure it'll work, but I, I don't assume the, the game developers designed something so that if you were to play Plague Knight, you would have to time this in midair, then burst your way over it, like so. But what I want to do is, okay. So you can charge it in midair. It can be charged regardless. I can actually imagine some not speed runs. Okay, I gotta stop fucking around with the screen and move on. I can imagine some, like, crazy designs around that. I guess you could say this is one of them. Not too tough, but... The, the point of this is to get you used to it. Ah. Alright, so the explosions are about as strong as the Shovel Knight stab, I guess. Shovel Knight's shovel stab. I wonder who his, um... What's the word? Nemesis is gonna be. Can't be Black Knight. That's kinda cool. I haven't seen any skulls for secrets. So, that sucks. Ah, uh, it's so refreshing to play this game. I have not played this game since I platinum and platinum and it. Actually, I haven't played it since. I can't pick this up anymore, huh? I haven't played it since I streamed or showed off Kratos. Or Crayon. Whatever the fuck you wanna call him. I call him Crayon. All right, I kind of like that this game has a um, momentum to it. Like, if you s it, unlike Shovel Knight, if you turn with Plague Knight, he actually does that screeching sound. Well, he doesn't really have a sound to it, but he does it, and I, I actually like that mechanic in most games. Uh, I know some games are like it has to be instant when they turn. Me, nah, I'm okay with it. Also, like how you can break momentum when you're falling down. But I don't, I'm wondering if you can do a double charge. Like after you let it go, you shoot another bomb and then I'll charge. I need to be somewhere high enough to do that though. I'll probably try and prepare Knight's stage. Actually, that's a little bit too late. Somewhere in King Knight's Castle, I should be able to do it. He has an arc mechanic though. It's not that big, but there's an arc to it. I wonder if the double jump is necessary though. I'm wondering what the developers had in plan with the double jump. Alright, can't throw bombs up. Alright. I'm assuming. Yep. It's a blast radius. So let's see. Yep. It's definitely a blast radius. Makes sense. It makes sense, I tell you. It almost looked like he wall jumped there. Alright. Nope. So it's only on impact, so it's kind of like rocket jumping, I would say. Actually, it's totally different than rocket jumping, since you're just using a charge jump, in a sense, with the attack button. But I would want to say it kind of propels you like a rocket jump in any FPS game. I'll take that. So far, I don't have any mana spells, though. Or alchemical potion-based spells. Not yet, though. From what I've seen from the trailers and whatnot, there's going to be a bunch. Compared to Shovel Knight, I think there's going to be a bunch. I'm going to ignore most of the gems eventually. Alright, so how do you want me to do this? Alright, let's do this this way. Let's play it safe. Nope. Two. Two! Mm, I guess I can double jump right after that. Alright, that works. I was talking about momentum breaking. It's kind of like a neat little extra jump to it. Or it's kind of like Yoshi's Flutter 
when you hold the jump button, he'll just like go like, hmm, I'm constipated. Question is though, can I stand on the bubbles? No, I can't, and they even hurt me. Why do bubbles hurt me, man? Are they full of soap? Yeah, I guess I can charge it after I let it go. Okay, let me try this real quick. Alright, let's see. Jump. Yeah, it works. I don't know if you, you register what I just did, but pretty much what I did is a jump into an explosion jump, into a double jump, into another explosion jump, just like so. I did. I just did it three times again. So that's kind of cool. All right, so I can hit these for monies, and then get shot up because okay, why not? Honestly, Plague Knight is my second favorite. Um, he has my favorite stage theme of this whole game, but my favorite knight is actually Specter Knight. I just love scythe weapons and the badass cape. I don't know why, but I like badass capes on any character. Be it villain or hero, it's all because of Strider Hero you. And a stupid flowing cape of bad- a scarf cape of badassness. And then Spawn didn't help that much either, because he, he actually- He had a nice look to it! Nah, it didn't work. What I get- what I gotta get used to is the... The charge. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be an upgrade that makes it faster. One, two, yeah. It's about like a- about a half a second and a half delay. Yep, three. Almost four. I wonder if that's a trophy. I have no idea what the trophies are for this. I'm gonna try to platinum this uh, Plague Knights thing too. Looking at the background. Do you guys see that? The lines right here? Pretty sure you do. Is that supposed to be normal or is that just my PS4? What the hell? Well, they have some bouncing to it. Well, he's getting harmed doesn't remove it. The, uh, the double jump aspect. I don't know, I, I, really, I really like this mechanic. Oh, you can do it while... Okay, this game's teaching you, oh, you can do it while on the stairs. Okay, that's kind of cool. I really like the, uh, charge extra jump mechanic. And it's unlimited, assuming you have enough. Uh, what's the word? Falling speed. Well, not falling speed, um... Enough time to spare from when you're from falling. Alright. I want that. I want it bad. This game is just pretty- well, right now, it's the game is just teaching me. Like, here's what you can do. You're gonna need it. If you don't want to get your ass into you. I'm wondering how hard the bosses are gonna be. I mean, I am... When I play Shovel Knight, if you guys have bothered to see it or not, I like using the Fire Rod a lot. And it's a projectile. I'm wondering how hard the bosses are going to adapt or change to Plague Knight, considering he has a projectile. Because, I mean, you could just, like, just spam it and just stay away, but, like, are they going to be a, more, a little bit more aggressive, or what's up, you know? I'm just curious about that. Man, I'm scrounging for treasure! I need all the gold I need. Because I need it. I'm a greedy fuck. Almost like most is like... Oh, you can do a screen transition! Oh, uh, I almost got four. That's kind of cool. Let's try this again. Ah, I let it do- I did it too, too late. Oh well. That's kind of cool though. I want to try that once more. If you don't mind? I want to see if I can do it. It's just one of those things people do. Alright, I think that was four or five. I'm gonna count four though. So am I fighting Black Knight or? I'm gonna give him the Shovel Knight voice. Yeah, I'll do it. Listen to me, you magicist. I know you're aiding him in his quest for the ultimate potion. Ultimate what? I haven't seen him since he fled to join the Order of No Quarter. Ah, alchemical trickery. You can't fool me. I know he plans to use the potion to beguile you. Wait, me? Oh, what are you insinuating? Oh, someone's coming. Oh, it's the panicky pushover. 
Is winning the magic is hard worth betraying your allies? <laughs> what? Where in the world did you hear that? And I know how you plan to gather ingredients. The only thing worse than a deranged alchemist is a traitor. Do what you will with the order, but none threaten the enchantress and live. He's still defending Shield Knight. Alright, there's gonna be some spoilers here because I'm gonna be referring to, um. Uh, what you call it? Uh, the actual sport, the story of Shovel Knight. That was pretty easy. But it is the first boss. And I got like a bunch of projectile spamming. As, this is what I was wondering, like, is the AI still gonna be the same? And I can cancel his attack! That's kinda cool. Alright, let's, let's end it. Face me! Ah, damn it. Face me! In glorious matrimony, fuck that shit. That's an interesting little dance, yes? He's like, <laughs> I always like making Plague Knight's voice manic. When I originally did it, it had so much peeking to it that I kind of ruined it. Alright, so that was the first stage, and I'm gonna end this part here because, you know, I like going by stages. It makes it easier for the thumbnails and the formatting and whatnot. But yeah, um, you know what? No, let's add the village in here. The village is kind of mandatory. I wonder where the dialogue intrudes. Halt, no one is allowed. Wait a minute. Let's just pretend I don't recognize you and you go on safely on your merry way. This doesn't have to get messy. And don't show your creepy bird voice around here again, freak. Did you just call the horse a lady a freak? You jerk. Halt, maybe you didn't hear me through that mask. No. <laughs> We already had this conversation, pal. You're not supposed to be here. Now get lost before I lose my patience. Everyone's freaking out on Plague Knight, so I can't go into the city, huh? And they get caught in the air. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, don't make me call for backup. Is that a different dialogue? Oh, so I am supposed to do this. Okay. So I kind of fucked the ass one up, but whatever. Okay, now you're just pulling my pauldrons. I'm a busy guard. I don't have time for this. Can you just go? No. Okay, now you're just pulling my pauldrons. Can you just go? Okay, that's interesting. Psh, hey, Blake Knight, I'm still guarding your secret entrance, but it lost key. The locksmith should be here in a week or two. Maybe you can wait until then. I don't want to wait until a week, but I just exploded myself around there. Oh, I can. Oh, that was already ignited. Ignited it. it. <laughs> He's like, God damn it, man. I had a loan on that. Well, I guess I'm canceling the locksmith appointment. <sighs> This was a house I grew up in. Haha, <laughs> now I feel a little bit bad. That's his mother in that portrait. Most likely a secret. I have no idea what it got, it was probably a music note. I was right on top of it when it when that happened. Doop doo. So I wonder Oh hey! It's Shovel Knight! But wait a minute, is this... As he's pl <laughs> I'm wondering where this storyline progresses, you know what I mean? It's like, did he, was he doing this stuff as... Was Play Knight doing this stuff as Shovel Knight was trying to save Shield Knight, or what's up? <laughs> Mona, we have a big uh, problem on our hands. We've been found out. Oh, the Black Knight thing? Yeah, magic has filled me in. Don't worry, you're big. That fool has nothing on us. Look, all we need to worry about is those final ingredients. We're stuck languishing here in obscurity until then. 
<laughs> yes, <laughs> the essence. I shall pay our friends a little visit and uh, <laughs> borrow them. Right. And while you're doing that, I'll keep researching ways to get more bang for our buck. Not what they say. The bigger the explosion, <laughs> the better the alchemist. Yes, <laughs> let's go to work. Wrong lever. Okay, maybe that was the right lever. Oh, <laughs> these lives never cease to both amuse and lost. <laughs> Truly a dizzying display of technology. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to the potionarium. So, what are we working on? Let's uh, research. Okay, I have a bunch of new toys designed, but we still have to build them. We'll need 40 cipher coins for materials. Look, I can't build this stuff on a shoestring budget, so until you have those coins, we're kind of stuck. So they're called cipher coins, huh? You helped Shovel Knight in a mini game. Confess, witch. Or wench, whatever. Ah, so there's Magicist, or Magicrist, whatever. So I have 4.6k, and I can buy a case, powder, fuse, and a, a powder for cascade powder. Whatever. Cascade powder. Produces waves of fire in both directions. One bomb max, two bomb max, uh, okay, case, arcs into the air before it comes down, crashing down. Okay, that, that sounds like an axe upgrade. Uh, Castlevania Axe. Produces while climbing flames. Hmm. Blows up a long time after throwing. And burst. Floats slowly to the ground, press... Hmm. Wonder. Let's go this way. Well, I like how the developers made this underground lair thing. A thing. For the city. Or for the town, rather. Not really the city. The fuck are you, buddy? A new bomb combination can make all the difference in difficult situation. Okay, thank you, buddy. I picked up your special delivery. Want to take a look and settle the bill? Bait bomb. Toss into the sparking pit and see what flies up. Sounds like fishing. That's a fishing rod, I guess. You know what you should do is, uh... You should try putting a feather in that cap of yours. Wait, uh, I mean hood. That hood of yours. Anyway, yes. Of course, uh, you like potions, would you? Health tonic and magic upgrade. Increase your magic bar for more Arcana use. Well, it's only a hundred. I guess I can't. I'm limited on those. So okay. Speaking of which, you never press the pause button. Or not the pause button, the uh, menu button, or the touchpad, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Hmm. I wonder what I'm doing. Oh, so that's my burst. Okay, so that's my power up. Gain a health bar bow until you fall in battle. Oh, interesting. Until I die. I probably should have not used them all the way. Like, right away, though. Original armor. And... 31 of 420. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun collecting those. Alright. Oh, play now. Good, my friend. I'm on the real time. Uh, how can I help you, Percy? I've run out of paper and I can't fit any mobilistic formula on my hoof. I'm in desperate need. <laughs> Do you need a glue as well? <laughs> I know how we can make some. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. But just a paper will do. Um, by the way, you're looking a bit forlorn lately. Maybe I'll repay your kindness with some love advice. Is he trying to do the... the sexy dance? Oh, everyone works so hard down here! Yes! And Oolong want to help! Can help! Can make musics! But... got tired. Fell asleep, went awake, forgot almost all musics. So sad. Poor Olong. 
will think very hard. Maybe remember more musics. Then I help. I help science. Uh, doing your voice is gonna hurt, but it's kind of be it's kind of fun. So that takes me outside. Explore a little bit more since I have, you know, I like limiting my videos to a maximum of 30 minutes. This is an introduction video, so why not? And then from there on, I'm just gonna be killing shit. Okay, that's also another exit. And the game starts me off down here, so that's kind of fun. I guess I'll buy a case, I guess. This does sound interesting. Lob casing arcs into the air before it comes crashing down. And it is a new burst, so might as well. I think I can perform one more thing. Float slowly to the ground, press down on the D-pad to fall again, or down in general. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. I mean, if you use analogs, I share it. Mean, whatever. So I got float burst. Float slowly to the ground, press. All right, let's try it out. So used to pressing circle. All right. Doot, doot. I see. And then I press down and you go fall real quick. So it's kind of like a floaty thing. But I can't use it again. So honestly, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I can't charge it in midair. Yeah. To me, I find that it's a bad part, but I can see why it would be there for people who aren't adjusted to the double jump mechanic. Or the extra jump mechanic. Or the burst mechanic, whatever. But anyways, with that said, I don't thank you for joining me on this part of Let's Play Shovel Knight. Or rather... Plague of Shadows. <laughs> I'm a fake flick, and if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can do so. Add a fake flick. So, on the next part, we're gonna go, well, fight a fucking boss. So, see you then.